what would I say to the clients that have supported us over 15 years? I would say deeply thank you. Grateful. Not only for me through the business, but me personally. Those relationships that we've created are long lasting. Dating back to 2007, Alana Yim was our first client. Uh, so my name is Alana Yim. I'm the Chief Communications Officer for Canadian Strategy Group. Joe came and basically saved my own bacon. One of my clients came to me and said, I'm in a pickle. Um, and I said, well, what kind of pickle? We have our grand opening in about 30 days and not a lot has been done on it. And I said, listen, like if nothing has been done, you're asking a really, really tall order. The client begged and pleaded, and so I said, well, let me, let me make some phone calls. I will only do this on a few conditions. Let me make some phone calls. And so the first person I called was Joe. So I was unemployed at the time. The good thing about that is that they were persistent enough to basically light a fire to say, hey, we need your help. And for me, I think that was my trigger. As soon as I hear when somebody needs help, I, I want to jump in and I want to support. So. I, uh, I put caution to the wind and I did. Every little accent and every little piece of equipment or anything you could think of from a rental, from an event rental perspective, had to be brought up from Edmonton. Well, at the time I didn't have any inventory nor did I have any money, but I did have a great uh, experience and relationship with a supplier. So I approached that supplier and asked, can you assist me with this request? And at first he kind of looked me up and down and said, um, Joe, I've known you a long time. I think, I think, I think I can help you with this one. We pulled together a huge opening in 30 days and a huge opening in the middle of winter that involved driving from Edmonton to um, White Court um, in the middle of a snowstorm. How did that event go? Well, let's say that uh, if you, have you ever worked 24 hours straight for two days in a row, that's like no sleep. So I have never done that again and I don't think I ever will knowing that how hard that was however the reward was way more uh, fulfilling knowing that we supported uh, a client that really needed our help in the early years which really has created this huge relationship that we have today. It's pretty incredible to see what 20 years ago what the industry was and, and who the industry had around the table to what it is today and just the I think how our city has grown I would say that Joe is a, is a pretty solid staple in our city from from that perspective and the re, that's just the reflection of the team that he has here I got paid for every time I heard somebody say I know Joe I don't have to work here anymore <laughs> But to me, that's a good thing. I mean, he works really hard at making those relationships with people that come into the building. We pick the ball up from where he has it, and then we work with those clients just as easily as he would. The staff have always been the backbone of this business. Everybody can have a table, everybody can have a tent or a tablecloth, but really what it comes down to is the service and the compassion that we have for each and every one of our clients that asks us for something that they need. Working with partners and working with companies that have just the vested interest in um, you and the clients that you bring to them is very, very crucial. And those wonderful staff that loved coming to work or enjoyed their jobs and went above and beyond for the client's requests that is the uh, epitome of um, true service. He trusts everybody that works with his clients to take care of his clients the same way he would. He taught us how to do it, and that's a, the sign of a good leader is that we all carry through the same message. You, you guys just made me feel welcome, so, yeah. I honestly think we're just absolutely blown away by the gracious, support we've received from clients over the years and I honestly look forward to the next 15 years and I hope that they look forward to us being their equipment and event supplier. So we're located on the south side south of Ellerslie Road just near Summerside at 1215 95th Street Southwest Edmonton, Alberta. Come by, come for a visit, come for a tour, come for a coffee, we'd love to see you and we look forward to working with you.